Hey, what's up everyone? This is Aaron from Studio 3B. Today I thought I'd make a video on how to make a USB installer for Mac OS from a Linux environment. Some of you may have a Linux installation lying around or it may be on the computer that you're going to Hackintosh. You could certainly start from a Linux operating system as opposed to just having to have Windows or Mac OS lying around as well. So I thought I'd go through those steps and this computer is the computer that I have uh, running as a Hackintosh on another hard disk. This is the specs of it. I'm not gonna go through the configuration or the EFI creation. So if you're interested in uh, that, I've made several videos on how to create your EFI. Uh, please see my open core Hackintosh playlist. But I'm just gonna go over how to create your USB and how to format it and how to get the files you need on there. Let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is go to a browser and search on Dortania Open Core Guide. Go to getting started. If this is your first Hackintosh, make sure you read all the prerequisites. You should know uh, that it's gonna take some time to get this going. You should also know all your hardware and your BIOS settings should be good to go also. So go to making the installer in Linux and this is a little confusing from my perspective so I'm going to try to boil it down for you. So you're going to need the macrecovery.py which comes right from the open core distribution and if this is your first installation on this computer go with the debug and download the open core debug zip. Inside of there you're going to go to Mac Recovery and download the distribution that you want to install. So go to a terminal and CD to downloads and you, there you should have your open core debug.zip. So if you unzip CD to utilities, Mac recovery, then you're going to copy the command to install the version that you want. I'm going to copy Ventura just for demonstration purposes. Uh, if you don't have Python 3 installed on this computer, you can install that. So just control shift V that command and let it download. Great, now that it's downloaded, make sure you have a USB thumb drive. It has to be at least four gigabytes in size and put that in your computer and then type LSBLK. You'll see that the USB you inserted might have something else installed on it. I have the Big Sur installation on here from a previous build. Uh, I'm going to wipe this out. So what you want to do is unmount this location before you format the disk. It won't let you format with it mounted. So um, copy this location and do U-M-O-U-N-T sudo U, U M O U N T control shift V that location. Um, make sure you put a forward slash before the uh, spaces and then press enter. Put in your password there. Now if you LSBLK you'll notice there's no mount location for your USB thumb drive. Make sure you're looking at the right disk. Make sure the size is correct and you're not confusing it with some other disk in your computer. Next thing you're going to want to do is sudo fdisk and then forward slash dev forward slash sd and then whatever letter that disk is. So mine is f. Don't put the number after it. Just do the whole disk. All right. And then you're going to press d for delete. That'll delete the existing partitions. So we're going to do delete two and then do D again for the first partition. All right. If you're not sure what command to type, press M for help. So I'm going to press G create new G GPT partition table. I'm going to type N for new, new partition. I'm going to start at the beginning and go to the end. So I'm just going to press enter for all these. Then I'm going to press T for type to change the type of the partition. I'm going to press L. I'm going to change the partition type to Microsoft Basic Data. So I'm going to hit Q for quit out of the list. I'm going to press 11. So now 
it's labeled as Microsoft Basic Data. And then I'm going to hit W for write to write this partition to the disk. Okay, now if you do LSBLK, you have SDF and there's one partition in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I have to format SDF1 to be FAT32. So if you go to the guide, that command is available, but scroll past this because this is showing you multiple ways of formatting your disk and I got really confused throughout here. So um, literally go down to this command, sudo make fs fat32 open core and I'm gonna put this on dev sdf1 there so now what you want to do is mount SDF1 at a location that you could find. So I usually use the forward slash MNT directory. So sudo mount forward slash dev forward slash SDF1 to mount. And then if you're in the Mac recovery location, you'll notice that you have a com apple recovery boot folder. If you go into that folder, you'll see that it downloaded the base system chunk list and base system DMG. That's the installer for Mac OS. So if you go back up one directory and you sudo copy dash R com apple recovery boot to forward slash MNT, it'll copy the installer to the USB. Also, after this, you need to create your EFI and to do that, you do it the same way you do in any other environment. You do it the same way I did in my other videos. You download proper tree to do your config plist and you download all your Kex and ACPI files. To get proper tree working on Linux, just go down to proper tree download from your browser and download that. And then CD to tilde downloads unzip proper tree master and then cd to proper tree master and then you just sudo python 3 proper tree.py and that opens this and then you could open up your config plist so all those steps you should be familiar with and if you're not please see my other videos but you should be familiar with how to create your efi by now and how to configure your config.plist. So assuming that you have all that created, I'm gonna go to my documents, which I have my EFI created for this particular machine and I'm just gonna copy that to my mount directory. So now if I go to mount, you'll see that I have two directories, my EFI, and my com.apple.recovery.boot. Assuming your EFI is correctly built for the computer you're installing this on, all you simply do is eject the USB and boot the computer to that USB using the UEFI target. Make sure your BIOS settings are correct. So set your BIOS to be the right settings according to the guide. And assuming all is well, you should be able to boot. Okay, so you go to the computer you're going to install Mac OS on, put the thumb drive in there, uh, boot it up, press delete, select the UEFI SanDisk or whatever brand thumb drive you have, and then it brings you to the text picker. Make sure you press spacebar to get to all the selections and you just select open core external DMG and then give it about three minutes. It'll boot up. It'll just take a few minutes to get the text to show up and it'll scroll and bring you to the installer.
Congratulations, you successfully made an installer in Linux. From here on out, it's the same steps as always. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if this was at all helpful to you. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thank you. Goodbye.